Honorable the Chair of the Standing Committee in the National Assembly, the Under Secretary of Means of uh, Investment, the Acting Under Secretary Means of Mining, the Chair of the BTC, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my President, General Secretary Mayardi, I greet you all. I fully agree with the previous speakers. This is, the event look small, but this is a very important uh, event. Uh, to have the first refinery, gold refinery in the Republic of South Sudan. It's not a small uh, uh, event, especially to, to our youngsters. Uh, let me not also forget to greet also our friend, our new friend, the uh, the consul of the Egyptian uh, embassy. Oh, Hagigaten Hafid Reis Sadat, the nice guy who Reis Sadat. Ah, so now we're going to talk about the Khawaja Masjid. We're going to talk about the Galay de Mosri. The Galay who is here, I'm going to talk about the Khawaja. Galay, but he's not Sudanese. So he's Hafid Reis Sadat. Uh, this is a very important event and I'm very happy uh, the acting uh, under the Secretary of Minister of Mining summarizes the problem that is going to face BTC in the business. The problem will be lack of uh, supply of gold, not because we don't have alluvial gold in South Sudan. I happen to, uh, you know, I'm privileged today, you know, also uh, God work in many ways. It was not planned that I come and officiate this event. The Vice President for uh, Economic Cluster was supposed to come and do the, uh, uh, to officiate this event. But because I have a long history in gold, a noble gold in South Sudan, I think that's why uh, God should, should have chosen me to come and do this uh, officiation. Let me, let me tell you my experience. I agree with the Under Secretary of uh, Minister of Mining. After we captured Kapoita, I was put to be the commander of Kapoita by Lady John Garan. And uh, we had a problem to make the market work in the town of Kapoita. Our border was Kenya, there were no roads. Uh, we don't have currency to buy commodities from uh, Lodwar. And people were not were Also, we didn't have currency to buy gold from the local, the local miners. So, uh, I decided to go to, more, to gold uh, washing myself. I know how to wash gold. This gold, uh, and about, you know how you can see from my hand. This is how they, uh, they do it, watching the Alubia. There's a senior uh, officer in the, our national security, Bong uh, Anyar, he's called Bong Anyar. He's a general in the security. He was my lieutenant officer in, the, in Kapoita, in charge of uh, military intelligence. There was another officer called Mario, I don't know Mario who, he's a Taposa. I told them, look, we have to we have to produce gold so that we sell gold to Kenyan so that we buy salt because we have problem of salt we don't have salt and salt can be harder to delay the liberation of South Sudan actually we are used to be challenged by South Sudanese you want to liberate us from uh, from Sudan where will you get salt one problem it will give a million in well but then have to give for nine in well cash and banana كان بيقول لنا الفنانين اللي عارف بتكره فنانين ده كلهم الكابلي البلابل ووردي ما أسأل أنا بقولي ما شاء الله بقولي أنا أسأ من جيب له فنانين من وين؟ ده هو عنده توشة من ميلة من وين؟ فنانين من وين؟ so we had a problem of not having salt in Kapoita and we have no currency to to sell. I tell you we managed to produce gold at a place called Nagnak. That's a core, a small core just close to Kapoita. 
we produce some uh, small gold from that nut. And I send this bomb, my Mario, to, to the one. They went on put actually up to almost up to Lodwa. Then they went and brought some commodities. We opened a cooperative. Now we start negotiating with the gold producers. Look, if you don't want to sell gold to, to bring, come and open a shop in Kapoita. Sell your gold to Uganda, to Kenya, but bring commodities to, uh, to, uh, to, to Kapoita. We did not stop there. I remember we produced one kilo of gold, one kilo of gold, and we gave it uh, to Lady Sir John. He took it somewhere, let me not say somewhere, he took it somewhere, and that somewhere brought us a very strong relationship between the Sir John because of that gift. We were supplying ammunition the first time from that direction. The first time we were supplied uh, ammunition. So uh, it is not going to be an easy thing, the supply of gold, because there are cartels in those areas. Mafia, 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 mainly Somalis. Let me be clear. Mainly Somalis, they are a problem. They are the ones selling gold to our gold to Kenya and Uganda. There will be a big problem. When you want to buy gold from there, they will increase the price. They may be doing uh, money laundering in those places. This will be the first problem that will face uh, BTC. But you will defeat them because you have the law in your hand. You are officially investing in South Sudan. They, if they want to invest in South Sudan, let them come and also do their refinery. We don't, we don't have a problem with them. But for them to sell our gold to Uganda and Kenya and re-export it, as if that gold is producing, Kenya actually exported a lot of gold. They produce a lot of gold, they export a lot of gold in Kenya, even Uganda. Not from their country, maybe from uh, DRC Congo, from South Sudan and other places. So, Mr. Ramadan, I think you, uh, you have something to do now. Be tough on those uh, cartels. Some of them are politicians. Some of them are also highly placed in the government. We are not telling them not to trade in gold, but let them do it illegally so that the government tax them. Our purpose is not to make profit, but it's to tax, to tax uh, BTC. The more BTC produce gold, the more we tax them, and the more we support our education, we support our uh, other sectors of the uh, of the economy. I agree with the Minister of uh, the Acting, uh, the, 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 the Under Secretary of Minister of Mining, to South Sudan, the important uh, sector to us is agriculture. Because actually gold is a depleting resource, just like oil. It will finish one day. But agriculture will never finish. Tourism will never finish. So the most important sector to us is agriculture. We want also Egyptians to invest in agriculture. If you don't want agriculture, at least you have a long history in tourism. Actually, if you go to Cairo and you get the Egyptian, how they are making use of the night, not only for irrigation, but tourism. Huh? Bring those uh, tourist companies to Juba. Come and start in Juba in tourism. The night is here. You can make a lot of investment here, by the way, in the area of tourism. Last year I was discussing with the Egyptian, with uh, the French ambassador. The French ambassador encouraged me that, look, let your government support tourism. And he told me the tourists are not outside South Sudan. They are here in South Sudan. He told me, you do you know how many embassies here in Juba? And they don't have any recreation areas to go to. European embassies here in Juba. Those who like uh, uh, to do uh, some kind of creation. How many employees of the of the UN? So I'm giving this information to the Egyptian that look, the tourists are here. The tourists are not in Cairo. They are already here. And these people, they are paid in hard currency. They have a lot of money. Uh, come also into tourism. 
Now to the young South Sudanese. This is a very important opportunity. You can make yourself in small companies to cooperate, to be suppliers of the uh, of, uh, of the BTC. You go and compete with the Somalis. Because you, you, you speak to Kosa. You speak uh, uh, the, the, the Dinga language. You speak barrier. You come from there. Your people, if you have the money, your people will, will sell gold to you, then selling it to, to Somalis. So you go into this business. Form yourself to small companies. Go to Kapoita, go to Lamanok, go to uh, Chukudu, to those places where the gold is being mined now. Last week I was seeing a, a video, social media, I think many of you have seen it. Sudanese militia are producing a lot of gold from uh, Raja. And they are taking it to Sudan. I trust many, some of you may have seen this. I hope, uh, uh, a lot of you have seen it. In Raja, militia, producing a lot of gold and they are taking it to, they are taking it road to Sudan. This is South Sudanese, uh, South Sudanese gold. I trust this, this company will grow. Uh, the production, of course, the company is big, where they came from. They have a lot of experience. But uh, now, according to the manager, he told me that maybe they are getting uh, one kilo or less than one kilo a day during the dry season. But I trust that very soon they will grow. They will have a lot of supplies. Uh, there's a lot of gold in South Sudan. For your information, and this man from mining, no. The biggest gold mines in Congo, in DRC Congo, they are just close to the border, to the western part of South Sudan. The biggest gold mine in DRC Congo. They are just close to our western border. The big gold mines that are being developed in Ethiopia, they are also very close to our eastern border of South Sudan. Nowhere in this universe that God can give gold to the Congolese just into our border and denying us gold. And also to the Ethiopian, just close to us and denying us gold. Actually, to us, I was a minister of, uh, of my, uh, mining uh, for, for a number of uh, months. And they were, actually, they were actually making me a geologist, especially the current under secretary, he's my good friend. Uh, I was told by them that the bigger potential of gold in South Sudan is in Buma Palato. The Buma Palato, not Kapoita, it's not Lebanon, it's not, uh, and maybe in Western Equatorial. So, BTC, you support young South Sudanese, give them loans. And you try with some of them, give them loans, they go to the periphery, and instead of you waiting, Mata Tazar and Gold for Shubak, Shubak there may be Somali, I feel it. You attack them where they are, not fighting, but compete with them where they are, use South Sudanese. And TLD themselves also decide to use South Sudanese so that they can compete with you. Uh, let me say again, congratulations. Mubruk Ali na kolona de fursa mumtaza fursa adima al sharka da ay tawa zey magalu give land the secretary of mining. I think let the investor not to to avoid mining. It is where they will be advised because the mining they have they have all the they know the potential of South Sudan. Like now he talk about tourism, I talk about tourism. Not many South Sudanese knows that tourism is the best uh, potential that we have. We just think about oil, uh, maybe agriculture. But tourism is just the one that shall compete with the agriculture and, uh, because it is also not a depleting resource. And uh, you know also we are the second largest uh, in terms of animal migration after Kenya. After Serengeti, uh, our park. Uh, here in uh, in uh, in uh, in Buma and uh, Central Equatoria, it's the second largest, uh, the second largest of animal immigration after Kenya. You know, also we have the Nile. Yes, water come from Uganda, water come from uh, uh, Rwanda, from Kenya, but they don't have the Nile. The Nile is with us. This Nile also is a very huge potential in terms of transport and, uh, and tourism. Once again, uh, I say the Gonson. And uh, the BTC, 
كلكم الساعه سنين كذا من شباب مبروك علينا make use of this you go and start my idea you شباب make your business proposal discuss with BTC I know you don't have the capital but BTC they have the capital let them give you loan you go and buy gold from where BTC cannot go المهندس الخواجة المصري ده ما بيقدر يمشي الغابات بتاع تفوسا يزبر وحش لكن أخونا أحمد أحمد هيكل أحمد هيكل المستثمر by the way هو نام يومين في كابويتا he spent two days you know أحمد هيكل is very big he's a big person يومين في كابويتا وأحمد مدرسة لتفوسا he built a school for for تفوسا so المهندس المصري can go to those areas of course They are also good for tourism. You will see a lot of uh, funny things. There are other things, the, uh, the, the, the rare stones, not only gold, there are stones that you can also discover that are also valuable. Uh, uh, let me stop here. Mabruk Alena, Namshila Gidab, Shubra. I don't know if you can talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Okay, Mabruk. <laughs>